Greetings, friends. I'm uh, Dr. Naufel from Conceptual Orthopedics, and uh, today we have Professor S. M. Tuli sir with us. So last time we had discussed about the tuberculosis of the hip. So today we are uh, back with Professor S. M. Tuli sir to discuss about the spinal uh, tuberculosis, which is a much more common uh, form of disease that we usually see. So we have uh, sir with us. So today we uh, sir will take us through the journey of uh, spinal tuberculosis. So whatever doubts you have, please keep uh, typing in the chat box so that towards the end uh, we can clarify it for you. Okay. So with this small introduction, I would uh, invite sir, and uh, we shall start today's session. Over to you, sir. My young friends, tuberculosis has existed in human beings since the arrival of man on the earth. Many a time we feel that tuberculosis is disappearing or will disappear. It has not, we have not succeeded. The incidence might have reduced, but it has not disappeared. And of all tuberculosis, 3% of it occurs in the skeletal system. And of all the tuberculosis which occurs in the skeletal system, 50% occurs in the vertebral column. The commonest tuberculosis of the skeletal system is in the vertebral column. Now, this is what does it cause? In addition to the systemic features of tuberculosis, all of you know it very well. Low-grade fever, loss of weight, loss of appetite, much more pain at night, so-called night cries. All this happens even in tuberculosis of the spine. And the commonest investigation which we will ask for is X-ray of the spine, AP and lateral. One. Second, the first time you send the patient to the X-ray department, we must also ask PA chest so that we know if there is a primary lien in the lungs. If there is a visible lung lien, you, are, you become more or less sure that what I am seeing in the x-ray is classical tuberculosis. Now, in x-rays, what, uh, what does an x-ray of the spine in tuberculosis show? The, you see, in our country, we'll see them, early stage, medium stage, neglected stage, or complicated stage. The earliest changes which take place in the spine x-ray is reduction of the disc space with erosion of paradiscal margins. Now, why does it happen? Paradiscal margins and disc. The paradiscal margin of the vertebral bodies are supplied by the same artery. The disc is supplied by the nutrition of the adjacent bones. So, if the paradiscal margins of the vertebral body are destroyed, are affected by infection, the nutrition of the disc diminishes. Thus, we get what is called earliest features of spinal tuberculosis in the X-rays are diminished disc space with erosion of the paradiscal margins and some degree of osteoporosis. So, this is what we see. Here, you can see a specimen. The specimen on your left hand shows a destroyed vertebral body. Probably there are two vertebral bodies that are destroyed in this specimen. You don't see the disc in between. The disc probably was so diminished that it is not visible to us. And if it is of some standing, the disease of some standing, you will start getting some degree of deformity. The commonest deformity which occurs is moderate degree of Kiefer deformity. The commonest location of spinal tuberculosis is in the lower lower dorsal vertebrae and adjacent lumbar vertebrae. And this particular specimen shows you what can happen in the tuberculosis of the spine. You can also see the dural tube. The dural tube has not been not been affected or penetrated by the tuberculosis material. Dural tube fortunately protects the contents for a very long time unless the infection is very very severe or the deformity becomes very severe, then only the dural tube can get affected. This, this x-ray, this uh, graph shows you all over the world how did the 
how did incidence of tuberculosis reduced all over the world. And it reduced. Why? Because better socio-economic status, better nutrition, less crowding. And especially in the um, uh, better economy countries. However, it has not vanished. <clears throat> and why it has not vanished? Number one, we are becoming a society of aged people. That as we increase on our age, let's say above, above the age of 65, most of us will become senior. Immunity comes down. We have people who have lived with diseases like diabetes. See, diabetes brings down your nutrient, brings down your immunity, and it can cause tuberculosis again. If we have medicines to control diabetes, which means we are permitting many senior people with diabetes live around, and that is how they can also get tuberculosis. Then things like a prolonged use of steroids, a prolonged use of oncotherapy. Re reduced immunity due to poor nutrition, excessive use of alcohol, tobacco, drugs. Another item which added for the persistence of tuberculosis, HIV infection. So keep that in mind. Very senior people, comorbidities, steroid use, oncotherapy, again oncotherapy because we are becoming a society of senior people. Oncopathology onco will come and then again we will have to look for oncotherapy which again brings down the immunity, drug abuse, all these and HIV. Keep in mind HIV infection brings down the immunity which invites tuberculosis or reactivation of mycobacteria which are already seated in your body. So these are the reasons why tuberculosis has not disappeared from the world. It is still there. Even in the affluent countries, it is there. Now, let's remember, in our country, 25 lakh people die every year due to tuberculosis. Don't forget this figure. 25 lakh is not a small number. Now, we were talking of what is our earliest feature in the X-ray. You see this one. That disc, disc, diminished disc space, diminished disc space, eroded paradiscal margins, that is the area, and you start suspecting. X ray is available everywhere in the country. X ray would be available for anybody working anywhere in the country, and one should be able to suspect it. However, there are better facilities available. In difficult cases, we may have to accept that. Now, the central figure in your this thing is an isotope bone scan. We did an isotope bone scan. The diseased area shows hyperactivity or excessive metabolic activity. But it also shows that there is excessive metabolic activity not only in the suspected area of the bone, but also in the right sacroiliac joint. Right sacroiliac joint showing excessive metabolic activity, which means in addition to what we thought as tuberculosis was fine, the patient also has another tuberculous lien in the right sacroiliac joint. Now, now the image to your extreme uh, right is a 